Doug McKnight for Angler's Journal, going to tie you uh, one of my tricked out crab flies for permit. Uh, first thing we're going to do is stick a, a, a saltwater jig hook in the vise and take some zappa gap and just squeeze a little bit, spread it out onto the shank, the hook and take some lead wire and wrap that all the way down towards the eye. Leave a little space for some lead eyes. And then I'm going to get some thread started and cover up all of the lead. That lead wire is going to make this fly heavier which is seldom a bad thing for a permit fly. It's also going to give a nice foundation for the body itself and the lead eyes. Um, these are some lead eyes that we flattened with a hammer on a hard surface. Just get those started with a couple of figure eights. And some more zappa gap. And then just build up some thread really locking those lead eyes on there. Cover up that lead with another couple layers of thread. And we're just going to tie that off. And we're pretty much done the tying portion of this. Um, the rest is it, rest of it is just going to be kind of a sandwich job. So we're going to take some uh, furry foam and cut that into a rectangle that's just a little bit bigger than the dimensions of the hook. And we're going to take some curved scissors and cut out an approximate blue crab shape. I'm going to kind of round like so. Then I'm going to reverse the curve on these curved scissors and kind of cut what's going to be the back of the crab. Just like so. Next we're going to take the corner and impale it onto the hook. Pop the hook out of the vise. And then just with my thumbnail take the other corner and just poke the eye of the hook through. Um, from here, we're going to take some zap goo. When this stuff dries, it's going to be rigid but flexible, kind of rubber, kind of a stiff, rubbery glue. And going to take our bodkin and just kind of spread that glue everywhere and then from here we're gonna lay in some some pre-made claws We've got one straight one going out to the side and one bent one on the other side like so and then we're going to take some ultra chenille, micro ultra chenille, and do a pair of knotted legs. These are going to be the little paddle legs on the back of the blue crab. Lay those guys in.
And then I'm going to take four more additional pieces of ultra chenille and lay those in in between the paddle legs and the claws on each side. Next we're going to take some burnt monofilament eyes and just slide those in right at the top curve like so. And then going to take a small maybe one inch long piece of crystal flash are going to be the antennas and just kind of fold it over and give it a little pinch so you have a little kind of wishbone shape and lay those in right in between the eyes and we're going to take another bead of zap goo And then we're going to take another piece of furry foam, about approximately the same shape as the top of the crab, just a little bit smaller, and kind of take the corners off. Just like so. Spread that glue around a little bit. And then I'm going to take some silly legs lay those right on top of that glue like so and then take our last remaining piece here just kind of lay that right on top and then just kind of start gently pinching and we're going to kind of gently pull all the legs into kind of their final position and it will take a good you know maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes for that glue to really firm up. I usually set these aside, um, let them dry, and then we'll come in and give this fly a paint job. Also kind of trimming, um, you know, if these legs are a little bit too long, usually give them a little bit of a trim. Antennas are a little bit long, so we'll give those a trim as well. And then I'll take a lighter and just singe the ends of the ultra schneel, make them pointy. And we'll put this guy aside and then uh, give it a little bit of time to dry and then we'll, we'll give this fly a paint job. All right, so we've let this crab dry for a little bit to stiffen it up. Now we're gonna give it uh, the final step, just a paint job with some permanent markers. Um, usually start out with the lighter colors first. So in this case, kind of a bright orange on the tips of the claws. And the very back of the little paddle legs. And then I'm gonna take um, a brownish color, this is a reddish brown called Desert Tan, um, and just tone down the brightness of that hot orange a little bit. Kind of the sky's the limit as far as um, you know what colors you want to do. 
Um, lastly, I'm going to take uh, a warm gray, and this is the uh, best way to describe it. It's kind of a muddy, kind of tan, grayish tan. Great color to blend in. And going to give the claws some barring, as well as the legs. And then lastly, just a little splash of that same color across the shell of the crab. And we're done.